Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Um, no, sir, I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? I well, ain't meant the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Today, John Marston stops shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know they're gonna be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John! Come here! John, come here, quick! Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside, you hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy! Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. For the love of God! Come on, old man. I'm gonna need you to... out here. Get inside. I'll keep watch out here. What are we going to do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Paul, what do they want? Hey. I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. Son, whatever it is. Oh, look how many there are. They're gonna kill us, aren't they? No, I ain't gonna let that happen. We'll take you all off. Don't do the damn look. Guess the West still is one. Uncle, are you alright?
Should be fine. You fools should run away. Hang in there, Uncle. I'm gonna get you out of here safe. Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby. <coughs> take them and <coughs> don't worry about me. Just get them out of here. No, Uncle, please. Oh my God, they killed him. Come on, son. Ain't nothing we can do for him now. We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there! Jack, Narlin, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go. Get! <laughs>
you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go! Great. ma'am. Oh. My condolences. Oh, my dear Harold, I can't believe he's gone. I knew his frequenting that gambling boat would be the death of him. The death of him. Oh, Harold Thornton, I miss you. I see. I heard that dog Trollop Clara laughing at the funeral. I can't understand how strangers can be so cruel. The world is a sad and terrible place. God preserve his soul. I'm real sorry for your loss, ma'am. Take care.
need help? Hello, sir. You work with the government? You one of them agents? Sure, son. <clears throat> Why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar Ross? No, but well knew of him. A fine man if you want a results. Won himself a chest full of medals. I think he went and retired about a year ago. Last I heard, him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy, getting to take it easy. He's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> well, thank you for the information, mister. A scum who can become as angels if you just put down the booze. We are campaigning in Congress. We will save this nation from itself. In the land of liberty, men should be free to live soberly without fear that the perils of drink may overcome them. Do you like what you hear, sir? No, not particularly. You'll take away our last freedoms, friend. The freedom to forget about our troubles. You don't have troubles, friend. You have all the joys of heaven here on Earth if you just put down the bottle. Hell, yeah, well, you don't know me so well, friend. Because if you did, you know how moronic that sounds. I, Abner Forsythe, am not afraid to be called Moronic, sir. Now that I don't doubt. Good day, sir. Oh, it shall be, sir. When we live temperately alongside one another, you are doomed! Doomed! Pray to the sins of the flesh! Mister, I heard about you. Yeah, sure you did. <laughs> you that boy killed Bill Williamson over in Mexico. No, you got me mistaken, partner. I ain't. Boy told me all about you since you come to town. Town? Is that what you call this place? Well, what's wrong with cesspit? <laughs> You know, I saw you talking to that Abner Forsyth. Who? The temperance movement man. Man trying to put me in a poorhouse. You don't say. Well, ain't that a crying shame? He's Jeremiah Somerset's pawn. The industrialist wants the, the state to outlaw public consumption of liquor. So he can make a fortune selling personal gin stills. Leave bar owners like me begging in the street. Oh, well, my heart just bleeds for the three. I can't figure out who I dislike the most. You kill Abner Forsyth. I'd do right by you. You need to find yourself someone else. Oh. Kill him.
It's a sin. A sin. A sin, I tell you. Hey there, mister. Good to see you, my friend. Decided to join me and recant the evils of the bottle? <laughs> I keep wishing, partner. Now, you best be moving on soon. The fellas around here want you dead. Oh. I guess the path of God will lead me elsewhere in this benighted kingdom. Thank you for sparing the life of a poor servant. Kindly, take this. Hey, you take care of yourself, Abner. Sir, I want to talk to you. What is it? I heard you tipped off Abner Forsyth after I told you to kill him. Now he'll be spreading his nonsense all over the territory. I'm not here to do your dirty work. Oh, yeah? Well, you can forget about drowning your sorrows anywhere around here. Around here, it's going to be double the going right for you. So be it. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. 
I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. They'll not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. I'm sorry, I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. And don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. <sighs> Hey there, mister. How's the hunting? Well, pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits, coyote, elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? I, I heard he was down in these parts for his wife. Of course I know him. He's my brother. Gone down river, duck hunt. Must be a pretty important letter to have come all this way. Oh, yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off then. Just don't get on his bad side. He's got a filthy temper. Edgar won't be back here for a while. Excuse me. You Edgar Ross? Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, sir. But I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. I ain't going nowhere, old man. Thank you. 